So I'm not going to take the time to answer your questions because I'm pretty sure the good internet people will help you out. Instead, I want to take this time to rant. I am famous for my ability to rant about inane stuff for a long time. This is a little different though. It isn't inane or stupid. Well, Maybe it is. You be the judge. Men are idiots. We all think it. Now, I'm not saying that women are blameless. I am well aware that we can be just as stupid and callous as you guys. As a straight woman, though, I have experienced firsthand how ridiculous men can be when it comes to relationships. Not romantic relationships, even. Any relationship with a woman in any capacity. So, here's the story. I have this friend. We'll call him Marco. Marco is a great guy. Fun to be around, intelligent, fairly attractive, not GQ attractive, but definitely not bad. Now, Marco and I are just friends, always have been, but he's the kind of guy who flirts constantly. I'm not even sure it's a conscious action, it's just something he does with any reasonably attractive woman, like the waitress or the girl at the table next to us, anybody including me. And I'm the kind of person that will flirt back. Not consciously, it's just something I do. So since Marco and I met almost a year ago, we have spent a great deal of time flirting. We've never been on a date or made out or anything equally coupley, but it's there. So a few weeks ago, he told me we needed to talk. And that instantly scared the hell out of me because usually when somebody says they need to talk, they want to yell at you about something. But Marco assured me it wasn't anything bad. In fact, he looked downright excited. So we went to my car because the movie theater was closing, all our friends had gone home, and it was snowing. He then proceeded to tell me that he's been in love with me for the past year. Now, my very first thought is that if he is in love with me and has been for the last year, maybe he should have said something sooner. But he stayed silent. The man who always has something to say, and usually very loudly, didn't say anything at all. Because I'm not a cold-hearted bitch, I immediately apologized for leading him on in any way. He's my friend. I didn't want to make him feel that way about me or cause him any sort of pain. I just don't feel that way about him. So I apologize and tell him that I just want to be his friend. I love being his friend, just not his girlfriend. He told me it should have been obvious how he felt because of the way he flirted with me. I tried to tell him that he has interacted that way with every single girl I have ever seen him talk to, but he wouldn't hear it. Instead of being graceful and accepting that I don't feel the same way that he does and that I didn't mean to cause any confusion for him, he got angry. He said that I was a terrible human being for flirting with him for so long and leading him to believe that I felt the same way that he did. He said that he never wanted to be my friend. Basically negating a year of friendship. A good friendship, by the way. I mean, we were close. Then he says none of that matters because I'm just a stupid bitch. He said a lot of things I should have punched him for saying, actually. I just felt so bad. He tried to kiss me. When I pushed him away, he left. Anyway, that was five weeks ago, and since then he has shown up at my work four times and once when I was having dinner with friends. He acts like nothing is wrong, like everything is fine, but when he looks at me, I can see how angry he is. Did I do something wrong? Okay, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have flirted so much, but we all do it and frankly, he started it. It had crossed my mind that maybe he had feelings for me, but that was almost a year ago and since he didn't say anything, I just assumed I was wrong. This whole situation is just ridiculous. I've lost a good friend because he was too scared to say anything to me. I say this at the risk of sounding like a petulant four-year-old, but it isn't fair. It isn't fair of him to expect me to date him just because he loves me. It's like he thought that because I am single, I must be in want of a boyfriend. And it's not fair because I lost a friend. Although, based on his blatant disregard for my feelings, I don't think I want to be his friend. And I'm pretty sure the fact that I spend a great deal of my time talking to you over YouTube establishes the fact that I don't have that many friends here in town. Really can't afford to lose friends. Especially not over something as stupid as confusion about feelings. 
there you have it, boys and girls. Men are stupid. I'll see you next time. Bye.